Welcome to our lecture online. Now based on the previous video, let's see what we've learned. Let's see if we can identify of this set of numbers what sets we have. Which of these numbers are counting numbers, whole numbers, integers, rational numbers, irrational numbers, real numbers, and imaginary numbers. Let's start with the counting numbers. Well, the numbers have to be greater than zero, so any negative numbers don't count. They cannot be fractions or radicals, so there's only one number here that fits, the number 19, that would be the set of counting numbers. Whole numbers are all the counting numbers plus the number zero if it's there, and yes, we do have the number zero, which means the whole number set is the numbers zero and the counting number 19. Integers are all the whole numbers plus whole numbers with negative signs in front of them. And is there one here? Yes, there is. The number's negative 7. So the set of integers are the numbers negative 7, 0, and 19. Rational numbers. Well, rational numbers are all the whole numbers, all the integers, really. So let's start with all the integers. So negative 7, 0, and 19. So all integers are also rational numbers, but they're also the numbers that can be put in the form A over B. Decimals like this, which are terminating, and fractions, even with negative signs, are also called irrational, oh, I should say, rational numbers. We're not at the irrational numbers yet. They're rational numbers, so we can include to that the number minus 3.6, the number negative 1 over 7, and the number 2 over 3. So these are all the rational numbers. The irrational numbers are the numbers that are not rational. In other words, we cannot put them in the form A over B. Is there any there? Well, there is. It's the number the square root of 5. Because even though the square root of 5 is on the number line, we cannot find the exact value of that number. That makes it an irrational number. So this would then be the square root of 5. The real numbers are all the rational numbers and all the irrational numbers combined. So we simply have to sum up these two and we get the following. Minus 7, 0, 19, minus 3.6, minus 1 over 7, 2 thirds, and also the square root of 5. That leaves us with one number there that we, not, that we did not include with the real numbers. Therefore, it's not real. It's called an imaginary number because it doesn't really exist. We cannot find the square root of negative 3. If you try to punch that out in your calculator, you'll get an error. It doesn't exist. It's not a real number. So we include that in the set of the imaginary numbers. The square root of a negative number does not exist, and therefore that is called an imaginary number. So now we've properly placed all the numbers in the various sets accordingly. And that's how it's done.